We want to find parametric equations for this, and I recognize that as an ellipse. So the direction of motion is counterclockwise. And then we also want to find some so the direction of motion is clockwise. All right, whenever you want to parameterize ellipses or circles, which are just special forms of ellipses, we're going to use the parameterization x equals something cosine t and y equals something sine t. Now, how do I figure out what that's got to be based on what I have here? Well, since I have x squared and y squared here, I'm going to square both sides. x squared equal a squared cosine squared t and y squared equal b squared sine squared t. And it still doesn't look like that form, so I'm going to divide by a squared and I'm going to divide by b squared. So now I have x squared over a squared, y squared over b squared, and looking at that, um, if I put that equal to 1, I would have that ellipse. So it's going to be x squared over, this must be 3 squared, a must be 3, and this one's going to be y squared over 7 squared. Um, out in front and then I have the cosine squared plus sine squared. So what I'm going to do now that this is cosine squared and sine squared, I'm going to add those together and that's going to equal 1. So the first one is x squared over a squared and the second one is y squared over b squared equals 1. So I can see that that works. And the important thing I needed to get out of that was a was 3 and uh, b, the y, was 7. Okay, so here is a parameterization of this ellipse. But which way is it going to go? We want to do one that's counterclockwise and one that's clockwise. So let's go ahead and plot this. Let's start when t equals 0. I'd have 3 cosine of 0, which is 3, and 7 sine of 0, which is 0. So 3 and 0 is where this starts at 0. Now let's, t, let's let t um, go to pi halves because that's an easy one to plug in and we can see where it moves us. 3 cosine pi halves is 0. 7 sine pi halves is 7 times 1 or 7. So it's going to go up here to 7. So my direction of motion is counterclockwise. You know if I similarly let t be pi I would have negative 3 and 0 and so it would continue around like this and then if I let it be 3 pi halves I would have 0 and negative 7 so it would continue like this and then back around. So this first one is the answer to going counterclockwise. Well how could I modify these so that it goes the other direction? Okay, that's what I would want to do next to answer that last piece. So if we let t be 0 and we went here, that would be great. But to go the other direction, I would want to now have it go this way. And the next point I would want to be at um, when I put t equals pi halves in, I want it to give the point 0 and negative 7. So if I did that, this would still give me the 0 at pi halves. How do I get negative 7 at pi halves? Well, I make that negative. So now if I put pi halves in, I get 0. And sine of pi halves is 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. And it'll go this direction. Then if I put pi in, I'll end up over here. And then if I put in um, 3 pi halves, I'll end up over here because cosine of 3 pi halves is 0. Sine of 3 pi halves is negative 1 times negative 7 makes a positive 7. So here we'll make it go clockwise.